Hi and welcome back everybody. I hope you all are having a fantastic day out there. We've got some great content for you today. We're going to talk about Ripple. We're going to talk about Stellar. Got some content here I think is going to give you a little chuckle as well. If you like talking about XRP, XLM, you know what to do. Drop that X in the comment section below. Of course, click the like button if you do like this type of content, you like updates of this nature and come into our community. If you want to come into our community, it's absolutely free. Just click that subscribe button while you're down there. Gonna get straight into it. Defendants, listen to this, hilarious in my personal opinion, in a $18 million fraud lawsuit, argue that the SEC's lack of authority over crypto should dismiss the case. And I agree. Definition of crypto is inconsistent is what they're saying with the SEC. And they are imposing regulation by enforcement reg, uh, rather than clarity. And so this is what we've been talking about for a long time now. We have individuals that are moving against the SEC that have committed fraud for over $18 million and are saying, look, SEC doesn't have a case here because what they are saying about crypto is inconsistent. They are trying to rule by enforcement. They're not giving clear rules of the road. It's do what I say, but not what I do because they're saying, come in, be compliant, but they won't tell us what compliance actually means. Moving on, SEC on the verge of a massive defeat following Ripple's Hinman victory, papers due June 13th, so right around the corner. And I get it, we've been saying, not just us, but people in general, that this case is almost over, this case is almost over. I believe things are really finally starting to heat up in a big way. We know those papers are now due June 13. Legal case could be unwinnable for SEC at this point. John Deaton, lawyer for Ripple or on Ripple's side, says, it is clear that the things said, the things said in the Hinman emails contradict arguments by the SEC in terms of what's commodity, what's a, uh, what's a security, and so forth. Now, I want to get into some stellar uh, news updates real quickly. This came out a few days ago, and I hadn't gotten a chance to give a shout out to Stellar for this, but this was a very big deal. The, still, the Stellar Aid Assist program that they have. For those of you who are unfamiliar, just real quickly, over in Ukraine, they have launched this. It's with MoneyGram. It's with the USDC stablecoin as well to enable uh, displaced war-affected individuals to have the ability to get funds basically instantly, right? And so a lot of times in these natural disaster situations or war-affected individuals, it could take weeks, if not months, to get basic needs that they need money for food to get that food to get clothing and so with this partnership in ukraine with over 4500 offices uh money gram offices i believe it is they are able to get people the cash assistance they need and so this is going to move throughout the world there are a lot of cases in which there are nat nat uh, natural disasters or even war throughout the world where they have this problematic area where they cannot get the funds they need. You know, tokenization, the digital economy that we are moving into, this solves it. This is a utility, a use case that Stellar has, and they were awarded best innovation in digital currency at the Digital Currency Conference 2023. So not a small deal, a very big deal in my personal opinion. We've got wins mounting up, compounding, right? Ripple's killing it, Stellar's killing it, and we're gonna continue to give you updates each and every single day. We know we are just days away from possibly a default on debt. We've talked about how that could potentially hurt millions and millions of jobs. So we're gonna keep you up to date on that. I'm gonna get another video out here later today with updates on Ripple Stellar and what's happening in the news. All we ever ask is clicking that like button, dropping the X, and we'll see you all in the next video.